What's up friends, it's Emily Curl here with Refinery29 and today I'm walking you through my everyday morning routine for fall. So if you know me, you know I'm a huge beauty buff and as the seasons change, so do my products. So today I've pulled three of my absolute favorite skincare products that I'm gonna walk you through. And after we talk about my skincare routine, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite makeup looks for fall. Behind every great skincare routine is a great face wash. One of my absolute favorites is this Meissler Facial Gel Wash. It's really, really gentle on your skin. I love using this one because it leaves my skin feeling very hydrated, very refreshed, and very taken care of. All right, so before we get on to the next product, I'm gonna go wash my face. And I'm back and I'm feeling so clean, and now I have this nice, fresh palette to really layer onto. I'm gonna start with this Artichoke Serum. The one thing about me is I do kind of have larger pores on my cheeks here. It's creating an even base for me. Now we're on to step number three, moisturizer. This is my favorite step because this is my favorite product. It's called Embryo Lease. I was first introduced to this by one of my favorite makeup artists, and I truly haven't used anything since. It's such a good moisturizer, great for everyday use, and also really hydrating, and it smells amazing, and I love it so much. <laughs> it's not gonna be a very quick drying moisturizer, but your skin is gonna feel really, really hydrated all day. And if you have any excess product, just go ahead and bring it down so you can really keep your neck hydrated too. Now that you've seen my fall skincare routine, I'm gonna show you my go-to fall makeup look. The first thing I always start with is brows. I'm a big brow person and I fill mine in religiously every single day. I typically start on the upper side and I'm just gonna gently start filling in to add a bit more shape to it. If you add a little too much product or your lines are looking a little too sharp, this is where the spoolie comes in so you can blend it out a little more. Now that my brows are all set, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my face. So if you're like me and really just wore like SPF or tinted moisturizer in the summer, and then you don't quite wanna transition to your full winter foundation, I have just the right combination for you. I love using this Bare Minerals Tinted Moisturizer. I can apply this all over my face for a nice even tone. One thing Bare Minerals does really, really well is allowing a lot of layering options. So I'm gonna start and use this as my base. Next up, I'm gonna add in my NARS concealer and just put it kind of underneath my eyes or in any red spots on my face and this will really just brighten my skin and just provide a bit more coverage. The skin underneath your eyes is really delicate and as soon as you apply concealer, you can start seeing those little tiny creases come up. So before I get started on anything else, I'm going to apply this Laura Mercier setting powder just right underneath so that way I can avoid any creases in my eyes. Next up, it's time for my favorite part, and it's eyeshadow. There are so many great eyeshadow palettes out right now that are really playing into these fall colors. Now before I start adding those colors in, I'm also just gonna use this Vapor Eyeshadow Primer just to get a nice base down. I'm just gonna start with a super neutral base, and I'm using Heaven. And I'm just gonna sweep it right underneath my brow bone to add just a little bit of highlight there. Next up, I'm just gonna go for another really, really neutral base. So I'm gonna use Honey Butter just on my lids. I'm gonna add in a bit more of that bronzy, smoky color. So I'm gonna use Hot and Bothered. <laughs> I'm adding these colors just right to the crease. I'm just gonna keep blending it out until it feels a little more neutral. I'm big into lower lash line shadow. So normally when I have a nice cut crease, I'll always bring it down below my eyes and I really feel like this brings a look together. To add a little extra sparkle, I'm just gonna use this lighter shimmery color called Fairy Tale. One of my favorite trends this fall is a lot of under eye makeup. I'm not a big top liner girl, but I always go a little smoky and smudgy on the bottom. So it's really great to use these like smudgy glide on pencil so you can really move that color around. And then just to amp up that color a little more, I'm gonna use this Makeup and Chill with a flat brush. And I'm just gonna smudge it at the bottom and this is just to add a bit more definition and color. The best thing about these fall colors is that they're all really blendable and go so well together. So you can kind of mix and match your own colors here. And I'm gonna do this sparkly undercover color. To finish, I'm gonna curl my lashes really quickly. To complete the eyes, I'm just gonna add in this voluminous lash mascara from L'Oreal. Super pigmented, really, really thick, and has such a great brush to really get that product on there. If you don't have this, you ain't living. To make my face match my eyes, I'm just gonna warm it up a touch. So I'm using this Too Faced bronzer. It's a nice matte bronzer and it's a really, really easy bronzer to use without feeling like you're caking any product on. So this will really warm you up on a nice chilly fall day. 
To complete my bronzy look, I'm going in with this Clinique bronzer. I've had this for years, but honestly, just anything sparkly, anything bronzy will really bring out those warm tones. And at the end of the day, if you're feeling a touch too oily, you can go back in with your Laura Mercier setting powder and just add it in on some of your oily spots. And last but not least, I'm going to add a lip. Since my eyes were a little heavier and darker and I have a nice bronzy glow going on, I'm just gonna go super soft. So I'm using this Neutrogena lip gloss. This is just gonna tie the whole look together but just keep it really soft so the main focus is on the eyes. There you have it, my completed fall look, one of my favorite go-tos. I hope it leaves you feeling inspired to try something like this at home. Happy fall, y'all. Thanks so much for watching my fall skincare and go-to makeup routine. What fall trends are you loving right now? Let us know in the comments below. And to subscribe to Refinery29, click here. And to watch more videos, click here. We'll see you next time.